Hi folks, this is your old pal Uncle Al. Normally I wear a hat, but I'm using the microphone today so you can hear clear me, clear, uh, clearly from me. First of all, this is for Ray of Grandpa Prepper and the Weapons Collector. It's not on this card, but uh, Ray asked about the UFO report. Uh, the one that the, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, Pentagon and Navy and whoever put out is a pile of you-know-what. Here's the truth. Uncle Alan, okay? We are being monitored by several groups of aliens. Uh, right now, we have alien visitors, about 79 of them, different cultures and races from other planets to watch over us. Because we're a bunch of boob heads. Now, I did say last time I met with them to put up a fence. And they did. And a lot of you guys finally in the last 10 years figure out, gee, there's something between the outer far distant planets. Yeah, it's called a fence. It's a thermal barrier, radiation barrier, and also a big asteroid belt. Why? Because you're escaping from your pe playpen. Okay? Uncle Alan has other things I got to take care of and it's too big for your little tiny minds, especially dad on YouTube. Okay, truth. Uh, the aliens are worried about us because one, we're still on uranium, not thorium. If everybody switched over to thorium, it would be a lot cleaner and our energy problems will go down. But no, everybody wants to make nukes. Nuclear weapons are totally useless. Get that through your mind. For a good effect, you need an atmosphere. Now, a lot of my friends are laughing. Yeah, they're going to use nukes in outer space. They're all laughing. Uh, go look at the sun. Does that affect anything out there? That's the world's biggest nuclear reactor up there. And that uses fusion, not fission. I keep telling people, these people are nearby and they're worried. Now, I'll tell you the three main races, because out of the 79, there's a whole bunch of people. Go watch Men in Black. You get the same idea. Okay? A lot of you guys are a bunch of boneheads. Not to worry. They just come down here, look around, send drones. Now, what the Navy didn't know is those are drones alien drones not our drones because you don't have the inertia technology yet and if Elon Musk ever gets that he'll be in well, it'll still take about a half a year but he'll be on Mars a lot faster because of inertia technology now a lot of people are really really stupid especially the Chinese and the Russians because China has one crash spaceship they uh, spaceship? What spaceship? Can't find it. There's three on the moon. What, what spaceship? You know. Also, there used to be an ancient Chinese establishment. This was long, long. Uh, I don't want to get into it. It gives me a headache. It's called the White Palace. Go read your records, China. Soviet Union. Your Arctic Circle is changing. It's melting. A lot of the permafrost is defrosting. Go look around. You have two wrecked spacecrafts. Discover that. You have a big jump on your international, not international, interplanetary flight systems. Okay? So try to find it. That's why China's trying to go take over Siberia, Mongolia. But you guys never listen to old Uncle Al. Mm. Good coffee. Okay. So far, the three main races are the Alphans. Those are little uh, green, gray guys, green guys, whatever, big eyeballs and stuff. They used to be human about eh, maybe two million, million years ago. And they started with uh, what we're doing today because it's Alphans thought process. They want to replace their decaying DNA matter. We are at the point where they were million to two million years ago okay now remember alphans are the little guys uh they're tribal they're like the apaches they fight between each other other alphans versus big alphans small alphans 
they all fight each other. It's like Arizona in 1870. You know, uh, whites versus Indians, Indians versus Indians. Everybody against the Mexicans, everybody against other Indian tribes. They don't give a crap, okay? Uh, their technology is about par with the norms, but the problem is they're better at biomechanics and biotechnology. That's why they want to replace, get more DNA and RNA from us. That's why they've been picking up cows and chopping up people and doing all sorts of things. And you guys like, it's a serial killer. Uh, no. Okay, Ray, listen carefully. A lot of the U.S. government is covering up. That report is like Project Blue Book kind of crud. Okay, I tell a lot of people this because that's baloney. In my earliest videos, I drawed you a diagram how their spaceship works. And that's a landing craft. It has a four-year light. And there's one in Antarctica. I'm trying to think. Uh, if you find that, you could travel any place around our area for four light years. And you still can't find it. You're a bunch of boobs. Idiots. I have other tr troubles. Remember I told everybody we were evaded by a trans-dimensional group? Not transsexual, trans-dimensional. In other words, this group of norms from this dimension hopped over to our dimension to escape that dimension because it was dying. So they jumped over 2.5 billion. So I can't really trust who's a lizard people, who's an alien, who's MIB or anybody past the salt slowly. You know, if they make a wrong move, POW! Not to scare Bunky. Just think of funny stories from Uncle Al. Okay, folks, another problem is a lot of people don't understand. The Alphans have good technology, okay? They will use androids or disguise themselves to mingle on this. And please do not call them little gray mans or do the Halloween mask. That's racist, and I have to apologize all the time. I keep telling them they're uh, poo-throwing, insane monkey, naked monkeys. I'm very sorry for that. And they do accept my apologies. Keep it up and they'll invade Earth. So stop doing it. Okay? You have to respect each yourselves and each other. And you have to respect our guests coming down here. They're observing us. And right now it does not look good. Okay? The Navy has no idea because its technology you scrounged off in the 50s and 40s. So did everybody else. Okay? And that's all alpha technology. That's not norm technology or Metron. Okay? Norm technology. They came in here. They contacted Hitler. They contacted other leaders. They contacted Eisenhower. Strength of will save those countries. Now, Val, their contact, is a great... How can I say it? He uses mental... Bleh. Mental capabilities so he can c trick people control people I could do a bit with through speech manipulation and mind control he does it really good and you can see weird photos of him back in the 60s now, I tell people you have to read this book you know it'll get you towards step it's like I tell people it's an old Jedi trick Everything you hear is baloney. Believe that, because you're stupid. Okay? Now, the truth. No Jedi mind tricks or anything like that. That was very good at it. And he almost took President Eisenhower to outer space. Iron Ike almost disappeared. Another UFO d uh, abduction. But he was smart and didn't do that. But they're worried about us using nuclear weapons. It's kind of dirty, kind of stupid, and we have the resources that everybody in the galaxy wants. Okay? The Metrons. Okay? Um, before I go to the Metrons, I explain the norms. Norms are homo superior. We're a homo 
uh, sapiens or like they say homosexuals I uh, keep telling them we're not homosexuals we're homo sapiens and they look at me no we're a homo superior you're the hillbilly um, squeal like the pig kind of folks in a backwater planet and I know the history of the norms I know history of the alphans they drive me nuts because it's basic intergalactic history 101 none of you study it Oh wait, uh, wrong century. Uh, never mind on that. It's all a lie, illusion. You will forget everything that Uncle Alan told you. Okay. Now, uh, back to history. Uh, the Alphans and the Norms were about equal race about two million to a million years ago. They're both human and stuff. The Alphans went to a matriotic society, all women, and they have a queen. They have several queens fighting each other right now. And each hive has a ruling council. On the norms, the norms is strict. It's like super Nazism went wild. Yeah, but they're not as bad as our retarded Nazis here on Earth. They're considered homo superior, so they have different color skin color didn't matter brain matter if you weren't smart enough if you weren't intelligent enough well you go to the death camps they were looking for gen genetically superior material any color any race doesn't matter what sexual preference they're looking for the best in genetic material and they reached it that's why they're homo superior because they don't get sick from cancer oh I have cancer I'll drink some orange juice and swallow some aspirin that's their cure for all sorts of diseases. Oh, I got the plague. I'll drink some orange juice and swallow some aspirin. Because their genetics is tough. Okay? Now, a lot of people don't understand this. But they're homo superior and we're the poo-throwing hillbilly, you know, squeal like a pig boy, relatives of them on a backwater planet. Because million years ago we used to have a colony of alf of uh, norms and alphans here alphans did gen uh, genetic research on our primitive ancestors and the norms for some reason rebellion or they don't like the ruling class because the norm ruling class has been at it for about two million or a million years so they left and flipped the bird to them and they settled on earth and then you had all the Planetary Wars and Mars and what you might call it, Vulcan. Not that one from Star Trek, folks. The real Vulcan part of the asteroid belt. That all went pooey. Okay. And then you had the Metrons. The Metrons is not related to us. They're a humanoid race. They're trisexual. It takes three of them to breed. They're a shape chamber. Ch uh, bleh. Shape Shifter, if you see them in New Mexico and Arizona, it's either two kinds of Shape Shifter or Native Earth Shifters, and then we have our Skinwalkers for that one, and then we have the other one from outer space. A lot of people are like, huh? Let me put it this way Uncle Alan's way ahead of all of you. Okay, I have my own problems, I gotta stop. What's coming up on 2040? I only have 19 years left to do it. I only have five, but you try to save the world on $2.17. It's really hard. Everybody has big book budgets. We could spend this on cocaine, like the Democrats. Democrats knew all about it. And what they've been doing, they've been putting up product up their nose. Okay, so I tell a lot of people. Don't believe your government. Do your own research. And I'll be seeing you. Oh, yeah. Uh, the Metrons are the world's toughest fighting unit. 80 Marines versus 2 Metrons. The Metrons always win, and you're not going to find too many Marines after that because they're omnivorous. They eat anything. Plant, vegetable, you name it. I've been trying to sell them a Kentucky Fried Human stand, but they're all complain it's not healthy so i'll be seeing you you have a nice day now like i said this is all of illusion 
It doesn't really concern you. I'll be seeing you.